You know, you should say it. Say what's on your mind. Okay. Okay. AJ, you've been a great lover. Okay? A great one. Which is why I don't think there's a better time than this to say this to you. Uh, so, uh... Yes! Yes! Yes, I will marry you! Yes! Yes, baby! No. 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 That's not what's going on. I'm not proposing to you. Yeah. Uh, no, that's n definitely not what's going on. I was actually going to say that I think it's time that um, we moved on. Like, separately. Huh? Yes. What are you saying? I'm saying that we used to be close. You know, we used to be best of friends. You know? But now all we do is bicker and fight. We spend the entire day fighting. So, yeah. Well, it's not my fault that you are a crying baby. Crying of every little thing. Complaining about everything that happens. And you don't take corrections well. You don't. You always have justifications for every single wrong thing you do. Dozy. Will you please just stop blaming me for every minor thing that happens? Minor? Yes, minor. Wow. You call outright negligence and sheer insensitivity minor. You call it's not minor. Are you acting like you're perfect? Can you just stop acting like you're a perfect person? Like everything you do is perfect. Everything about you is perfect. Can you just stop this for once in your life? You see that? that there you go with your temper. Okay, you have a huge temper. You get angry, you get loud. I, you know what? I'm not gonna take this tonight from you, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna take this. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry as well. Whatever this is between us is over. Dozier, say I'm sorry. Dozier, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, baby, okay? I just, I needed to handle some stuff. Stuff that has no meaning. Nothing to worry your big head about, okay? I don't have a big head. What? You have a massive head. What are you saying? I don't have a big head. Look, your head is bigger than my head. Let me measure, okay? Let's okay. measure. Let's be fair. What? You're like five joking. times. No! <laughs> I don't have a big head. You have a massive head. No! no, no, no what I don't the? Have a big okay, you win, you win, you win. Good! Wow. I always win. Yeah, because you bully me. No, I don't bully you. That's physical harassment. No. <laughs> okay, I arrest you. Mm. You know, I cherish these moments we share together. I feel like I've known you my entire life. And I want this what we share to last till God calls me. You are talking about forever. Uh, <laughs> funny you say that. <laughs> yes, I am. Which is why I'd like to ask you if you would Please marry me. Say something, baby. Yes, of yeah. course I'll marry you. Yes, yes. Thank you, baby. We are getting married. I love you so much. Thank you for saying yes. Oh, I like you. Let's go make a baby. <laughs> you know I can dance. What's this? What's this? I'm dancing for you. Oh, no, no, I like this one. I like this one. I like this one. <laughs>
What are you doing here? Who's here? It's too early. It's too early for this. What are you doing here? Huh? What do you want? I came to find out how and when we got here. What about me, though? Huh? What about what I want? Does that matter? Maybe you didn't tell me I was pathetic. I'm not saying you're pathetic. That's not what I'm saying, okay? I'm sure you'll find some guy that would put up with what I couldn't put up with. And just because I couldn't doesn't mean that you're unworthy of love. That's not what I'm saying. Babe, let me fix this. I want to fix this. I don't want to break up. I don't think you can fix it, okay? It's just who you are, okay? You like arguing and you like proving that you're right. That's just, that's just you. Dozy, we all at some point in our lives have said things that we didn't mean. Babe, what happened to you complaining about things that you didn't like? Well, last time I tried to complain, you said it was the lamest complaints ever, and I stopped, okay? I'm so... Oh, come on. Tuzi, please, I'm sorry, let me fix this. Stand up. Please. Stand up. Stand up. I want to fix Stand this. Stand up. Why now, huh? Why now? Because I love you. Tuzi, I care about you. Anything for you. We have invested everything, time, energy into this. Babe, it's been three years, remember? Well, I won't let history give me misery, okay? I won't let that happen. Babe, uh, are you done? Oh, uh, baby. This is 
IJ and um, IJ, this is Nene. Hi. for telling me about your relationship with her. It's over, okay? It's definitely over. Don't tell me all that. <laughs> You're so understanding. And now you have a key. Mm. I've got your hand. Fact. I know. Now you've got my lipstick too. <laughs> okay, fast. I'm almost late. I'm, I'm, I'm not hungry anymore. Okay, let me just uh, give this in the kitchen. <gasps> what a morning. Um. I'm coming back. Right? I can see the lady you replaced me with couldn't even make your lunch. It's not your business how we decide to live, okay? What do you want? I came to talk. Have you been stalking me? If it makes you feel any better, yes, I've been stalking you. Nadozi, my heart is heavy. I need closure. Were you dating that lady while you were with me? Okay. I see you don't want me to enjoy my lunch. Okay, I'm out. Have you heard the saying that says, never get dirty with someone who has nothing to lose? Now sit your ass down and answer my questions. Relax. attention to us in public. I'm listening. This is not necessary. This is unnecessary. Okay, fine. Remember the night we had a fight, right? And it was raining and, and, and I was vulnerable. Oh. Oh. Nanduzi, you were spineless. I see what you're trying to do. Instead of you to take responsibility for your actions, you're trying to turn the table around and act like I pushed you into the arms of another woman. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. Then you waited until she was wearing your ring for you to break up with me. I didn't... I did it after I broke up with you, okay?
You know, I used to think that this whole thing was my fault. But now I know better. You are more pathetic than you think that I was. Hey, I will not have you insult me in public. It's fine. I got the answers I came for. You can go ahead and be with your woman. Dozy, have a good life. Yeah, you have a great life too.
to run? What? Why are you even running? No! How's the catwalk? Oh You're no. catwalking away from me? Mom, you're you your Oh, is it because I haven't started here seeing you? Man, eh? stop it! What? Stop. How dare you? <laughs> you have to make me feel like a badass. Oh, you are. I am? <laughs> hey, whoa! <laughs> You have to be careful, Lou. Mm. It's our family. I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. How did I meet you again? How did you meet me? Uh huh. You slept because you met me in your dreams. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> what, like woman? No. <laughs> Like make us some money, vibing or rapping to something. Because, ooh. I'm going to vibe to something else right now. Oh. You know, smokers are liable to die young. Everyone is liable to die, young or old. You know, I love the fact that you have accepted reality as it is. Not everyone does. Well, it's going to happen sooner or later. Mm. <sighs> TJ, by the way. Interesting. Why? Because men are scum. Oh, whoa, whoa! The men that you met are scum. They are well bred ones like me. Really? Well, mentally, physically, intuitively, men, including you, they're a bag of scum. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know, I like your sense of humor. And I don't like yours. No. Cool. I'm, I'm just trying to be a friend. <laughs> friends. Men never want to be friends with women. They always want something sooner or later. Tell me, what do you want? Well, no, it's, I, I mean, uh, well, what do you want? I'm uh, sex rights. Okay. Yeah, work, 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 work. <laughs> guess what? What? No, 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 guess. You are finally taking us to Barcelona? Not quite that. Okay, one more guess. Okay, I got it now. Okay. <laughs> you 
Okay, baby, sit, 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 sit. Our bank, the Green Bank for Africa, has emerged as the best bank at the Global African Commerce Awards, okay? Endorsed by Forbes, okay? And I've been chosen to represent our CEO at the ceremony. Ooh! Okay, so where? Calabar. You should come with. It'll be so much fun, I'm telling you. I would have loved to, but you know I have to work. Yes. Yes, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm going to miss you so much. I'll miss you more. Oh. Don't worry, okay? It won't be long. I'll take you to Barcelona so you watch the second greatest player of all time. Your favorite player. Okay? I promise. Really? Yeah. Thank you. You are the best. You are the best, best, best. Is there any word like that? There is now. <laughs> Just a clown. You married one. Oh, stop. <laughs> That's why you married me. <laughs> I'm the best now, okay? You have to say, sir. It's not just what. You say, sir, what? <laughs> what, sir? Okay? Ah, I will We're the best. <laughs> what is it? Congratulations, baby. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. We couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> exactly. Um, how long would you be coming for? Um, well, just a weekend, you know. But I know it's tough for you to hang out without me, you know. So you can come with me. Because you can't handle being without me, it's obvious, you know. So, to save you the pain, babe, uh -huh. come with me. Do not flatter yourself, young man. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, though, you need to work on getting a break from work. Seriously. How does nine months sound? Nine months, that's a long time. What, are you pregnant? <laughs> that's too much time. Okay. We are having a baby. Yeah, the test got back this afternoon and... You're serious? Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so, so... Thank you. Thank you so very much, baby. I feel like it happened too soon, like a little bit, like a, just a little bit too soon. You are not ready? No, babe, with you I'm always ready. Okay? Always. I love you so much. So, boy or girl, which one of you would Uh, both would be nice, actually. Who oh, got it twist for you? Are you kidding me? I mean, maybe boy, girl, boy. Just boy, girl, boy, sir. So we know we get it all done at once. Do you get it? So we Are don't have to go three times. Are you kidding me? Yeah, your body. Will you help me to carry the pregnancy? Seriously. Babe, if I can help, if I can carry the baby for you, I'll. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Stop. You can't. I'm the one carrying the baby. That's, that's just Simple how, that's that. how the cards were dealt. I'm just saying, I'm such a nice guy, I would do it. <laughs> it's impossible, but if it was possible. I love you so much. I love you so much. Mama Ejima. There's a reservation for me. Okay, yeah. and you are? Uh, I'm not Doze Iloabuchi. Oh, please give me some words. All right. What are you doing? 
doing here? What are you doing here? Uh, okay, I'll go first. Well, I came to represent my bank, the Green Bank for Africa, at the Global African Commerce Awards, so. Hmm, okay, good. Well, I now live in this city. Oh, okay. You got transferred here. Now, I no more work with the insurance company. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, things got mercy after the breakup, and for my own sanity, I had to move down here, away from <laughs> the busy Lagos life. You know you didn't have to. I had to, for my sanity. Okay. Uh, are you lodged here? Are you staying here? Um, yeah, for now. Oh, okay, cool. So why don't we link up tonight, you know, grab a drink, catch up, you know? Well, why not? That would be nice. So, um, so I'll see you later tonight. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so, uh, is it ready? Yeah, it's, it's ready. All right, thank you. That's your key. So your room is room 306, second floor. All right. right. 306, second floor. By your right. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe you remember all that. Trust me, I remember a lot. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Good. You know, if somebody was to tell me that like you were going to move out of Lagos completely, I wouldn't believe them. I mean, you love the nightlife way too much. Oh, well, that. Well, I was really hurt when you told me it was over. So, for my sanity and for my work, which was on the line, I just woke up one morning and made the toughest decision ever. So, how has it been over here? Oh, tranquil. Hell there. And of course, relaxing. That's great. So, what do you do now? Um, I own a fashion boutique. Yes, it's called Jay's Apparel. It's really doing great. Nice, nice. Of course it's doing well. That's why you take the weekend off here, spending money like it's nothing. Well, you know what they say. Well, do you know before you out? <laughs> that is true. That is very true. <laughs> I miss you. Well, um... That was, it, it's okay. It's okay, you don't have to say anything. Hmm? I know you don't and it's fine. She won and I have lived with it. So it's okay. I'm glad you understand. It's okay. Uh, anyways, before I start getting emotional, um... How about we have dinner in my room tomorrow after your award ceremony? Uh, why don't we do it at a restaurant? Does it? I come in peace. I promise. All right, tomorrow it is then. Tomorrow. You know, it's been ages since I had this. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Is it that your wife doesn't know you like it or she's too busy to make it for you? Oh, uh, well, actually, I'm the busy one. Hmm. Doesn't look like it to me. You always want your favorite me no matter how busy you are. You know, we would have been great together, don't you think? Hmm? You know, I remember when you used to say Letty's words to Dom in Fast 7. Wherever you go, I go. If you fight, I'll fight. If you ride, all right. And if you ever die on me, I'll die with you. <clears throat> I actually don't remember any of that. Oh. Well, unlike you, I remember everything.
No, 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 don't. No, 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 no. I need to. That's my uh. At least for now. No, let me just have this quiet moment with you. Um, you know, I may never have this chance again. I'm married. Okay, I'm. But I'm still in love with you. I can't do this to my wife. What are you doing? Shh. I just. You don't tell her. I won't. Hmm? Don't do this. Shh. I've been trying to call you all evening. Please call me back. I can't reach you. I'm worried. Call me back. IJ IJ Are you in there? Coming to get ya Hey, IJ Uh, yeah, the lady that I was talking to here the other day, uh, the beautiful lady, the Ijoma, she she was staying up on the second floor. I don't. Do you remember her? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I remember. Uh, okay, I remember. great. Uh, do you know Do you know where she is? She just left with all her bags not long ago. You are sure? Definitely, I'm very sure. Okay. Uh, all right. Thank you. Yeah. Is there Is there any problem? No, no, no. no. All right. Thank you.
Hello? What happened? I called you all through the night. Why did you leave your phone? Uh, I'm so, so sorry, baby. I'm really sorry. You know, after the award, there was, um, there was a party, right? And I, I just got knocked off. I'm really, really sorry. You had so much to drink? Uh, not really. No, no. I've told you several, the alcohol is not good for your system. When are you coming back? Tomorrow. Babe, but you said today. Why? Well, I ran into an old friend, um, and he wants to meet up tonight and talk business. So I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. Um, okay, fine. Take care of yourself. And while you're at it, please keep your phone closed. There's someone at the door. I have to go. I love you right back. <laughs> yes, I did it for this face. Okay, I did it for this face. <laughs> I can't believe you did that to me. Oh, I did, baby. I did. Oh, my God. Ow! You really that did hurt. That. You really punched me then. I wish you so much. I wish you more. How's our baby doing? Oh, drop, son. Oh, yeah? I've been puking all over. Hey, you should embrace it, okay? It's part of the joys of motherhood. Yeah, right. I'm a father. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Babe, if I could puke for you, uh -huh. if I could carry the baby for you uh -huh. for nine months, if you want 12 months, uh -huh. I'll do it. I love you that much, you know. You know I'll do it. What are you doing? Help me. <laughs> well, let's go upstairs. I really miss you, babe. I know. Well, you want to get busy, yeah? No, I just missed you a lot. What's on your mind? Baby, you're up. You should be resting, okay? You have a long day ahead of you. I woke up to kiss myself, but I couldn't find you. Well, um, sleep eluded me. Why is that? I don't know. I just, I don't know. Babe, hey, if there is anything, you know, we can talk about it. It's nothing, okay? Now let's get you back to bed. You need to rest. Okay. You need to rest. Come on. Come on, let's go. You want us to grab something, huh? No, no. to me now. About what? You can continue to pretend like there is nothing up with you these days. 
Babe, I don't understand what you're talking about right now. Your phone never goes out of your sight. Whenever it buzzes, you rush to it with great anticipation. I do. Uh, I, didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even notice. Look, it's like you're expectant of someone else's call. No. 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 Are you having an affair? How could you? Babe, how could you ask me something like that? Of course I'm not having... Babe, come on. Why would you even ask me that? That hurts me that you would ask me that. Then explain to me what is going on with you because this version of you, I don't get it and trust me, it sucks. Babe, calm down. Okay, just relax. There's nothing to worry about. Okay? I love you like crazy. Okay? Now, Ease, I don't want us going to work late. I've lost my appetite. You look cute when your face is like that. Stop it. I'm being honest. Look, I don't want to See laugh. Okay, stop. Ah, it, it, works. it works. I know my wife. I hate you. Stop and I it. love you. Stop it. Hi, Dozy. Uh, who am I talking to? My name is Ijoma. Ijoma Amole. Remember? Aichi, what happened? I've been looking for you. You didn't even say anything before you left the hotel. I've been looking for you since that day, all to no avail. How could you do that to me? I am HIV positive. Yes, I'm an HIV carrier. You knew all along? And if you haven't seen a medical doctor since the last time we saw, you definitely have HIV. And you purposely infected me? Yeah, of course. Listen, Dozie, I have no regrets. You cost it. All of this happening to me, you cost it. Okay? Well, even though I hear HIV is not a life sentence, you can do whatever you want. So, have a good life. Uh, yeah, before I forget, say hi to that lovely, and perfect wife of yours. I do. I swear to God that. Hello? Nothing wrong. I'm fine. make mistakes in life and it's bound to happen. I mean, mistakes and lessons are what makes life worth living. Just say it already, please. Please. Am I infected? Huh? 
Yes, you are infected, Mr. Dozy. And I'll advise you to bring your wife to be tested as well. Please take heart and be strong. Mr. Dozy, are you okay? Yeah,
don't know, Mom. My husband is not home yet. I've been calling him all day. He's not picking up. I've called his siblings and his mother. They haven't heard from him. I remember he received a call last night and he has been acting strange before he left the house this morning. <laughs> I can't, Dad. I'm just so worried. Daddy, I'm worried. Thank you. One more bottle. Huh? Two. Two more bottles. So sorry, sir. We've closed for the day, sir. Huh? We've closed for the day, sir. So sorry about that, sir. Okay, just one more bottle before you close, sir. So sorry, sir. No, one before, before you close. For you, sir. We've closed, sir.
sorry. I'm sorry. This is not a life I wanted for myself. This is not a life that your daughter deserves. She deserves much better than this. It doesn't really matter. The most important thing is that we have found you. She is worried too. You get her worried. We thought you were being kidnapped. We are even going to a police station to give you a report on this. I'm dying. Your daughter is dying. The child she's carrying is dying. I'm HIV positive, and your daughter might be infected. If you're infected, I want to look him in the eyes and cast the thing. I want bad crass. How oh, can you come be chasing and lose like an angel be going devil in my life? Oh, my daughter, we fall prey to temptation every now and then for you to say it's temptation because it's your son. No, no, no. God knows I don't love you less. You know you can't do this in your condition. Take it easy. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. You're sorry? I'm sorry. It was the... You are sorry? For the measuring you've cast me on my child, you are sorry. I cursed the day I met you. I did not swear everything I have with you or not you. Doctor, please stop all these things you're saying. Please stop. I have spoken. And God knows that I've spoken. <laughs> oh my God! Where is my daughter? Mommy's calm down. Doctor was here. How, how is she? She's fine. Calm down. She's fine. She's fine. Yeah, she's okay. You know she's okay. Yeah, she's fine. Okay, so can we see her? No, just hold on. Let me talk to her first. No, but if she's fine, why can't we see her? You can see her, but let the doctor okay. go first. Just hold on for the doctor, please. You're sure she's fine? Yeah, she's okay. Can I go in? No, you can't, please. It's can weird, it's weird. Oh, she's not here. Okay. But she's not here yet. She's coming. Hey! Come to her. Come to her. Come to her. The good news is that she has been resuscitated, so she'll be able to shuffle. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you. So can we see her? Can we, can we see her? Sure, shuffle. With my observation here, the baby is fine, and the mother is fine too. Because... Oh, speak to God. Um, she collapsed as a result of stress. Meanwhile, Judith here will take her blood sample for testing. I think that will be all for now. Mm. Thank you.
Hey, Doc. You're here, Mr. Dozier. Yes. Uh, so, um, the... Oops. What is the result say? Congratulations, Mr. Dozier. Yes! Your wife is negative. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Thank you. God, please. Please turn this dream to reality. Please. Mr. Dozi, can I see you in my office? The test result is out. Uh, okay. You can tell me here. Okay. Mr. Dozi, I'm sorry to announce that your wife is HIV positive. find who did this to me. So you want to walk away and leave my daughter with the unborn child? Even when you know that the fate of the child have not yet been determined? I'm not walking away, okay? I am not walking away from my wife. She's my wife. Mm, she is still my daughter before you got married to her. So what's it going to be? Huh? You want my life in exchange for hers? Is that what you want? Because I would understand that. I understand your bitterness, right? If somebody did this to my daughter, I would have a worse reaction, okay? Which is why I have to take full responsibility for all I've done. Responsibility? If you had to be responsible, you would have zipped up your trousers. Okay, you have to go, okay? If you eventually see the person that did this to you, what are you going to do? God help us both. Where you say they go? Uh, wait, uh, you know what? Hold on. Have you, have you ever carried this girl? Do you, uh, hold on, let me show you a picture. Um, I don't know if you know her. Her name is Ijoma. Okay, I don't know her more. You've never seen her around? Just keep moving, yeah? Alright. What's up with him?
Thank you. She doesn't need me, okay? I'm the last person she wants to see right now. See, you cannot run away from this, my son. Come back and fix what is left of your marriage. I need to find the woman that did this to me. She's the reason there's something to fix in the first place. Hamid, I don't deserve this. My wife doesn't deserve this. My, my child does not deserve this. I need to look her in the face and find out why she did what she did. Because I know for a fact that you know she did now. Hello, Tosi. Hello, son. Hello. I almost got run over. Son, you need to come back, please. I need to find her. I need to find her. I need to. Good afternoon, and what are you doing here? My daughter gave a specific instruction that she does not want to see you in this house. Please, can you go somewhere else? Please, 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 I really want to see her. I, just for a second, I mean, it's my house. And it's a house too. You better stick to the instruction or else. I'll do something to you that you won't like. I, I, I didn't mean this for any of us. I didn't. I love my wife. You love your wife and you cheated on her? A real man will say no. It, it, it was emotional blackmail. It, it, oh, she seduced me. I'm sorry. You I should have said no. She seduced you and you could not say no. A real man will say no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. It You're was... sorry. Oh my God. Why did I give my daughter 
to a weak man who cannot resist temptation, a man who cannot say no to sexual pressures. I'm a, I'm, I'm a good man, ma. I am. It was just a moment of if weakness. If that's but... what you say that makes you feel better or makes you sleep better at night, then so be it. Please leave this minute. Please, please. Please leave this house. Can I... Excuse me, can you walk out? My daughter. You see, wherever Jesus go, whether it's on the farm, whether it's in the church, whether it's in the market, villages, cities, do you know what? People lay down sick people for him. But in that crowd, they said, if we are able just to touch the hem of his garment, we will be made whole. Guess what? They did it. And they were made whole. Sermons. Do not let this your hard time take you off from your Christian faith. Let's, I forget, let me further this. Let me read the portion of the Bible too, so that you could be cleared fully. The book of uh, Matthew 8, starting from verse 1, it says that Jesus went to the mountain top. When he was coming down, he discovered that there was a crowd waiting for him. And a certain man in that crowd shouted, Fit, fit, fit. And he said, If you can stretch out your hand, touch me, and make me clean, I will be very, very happy. And Jesus said, I am willing to do that. He joined the feet of the man and himself with the crowd. Jesus stretched out his hand. Behold, what happened? The man was cleansed. They proceeded. Not HIV, not AIDS. Daughter, are you saying this? Do you remember that even Jesus raised up the dead? And he performs a lot of miracles. That is still the reason why ART was brought to us as a miracle in this issue. How long am I going to live like this? Oh, great. As you can see me, in as much as I can live as a human, so also the same capacity you have to live. So if you, if you, you will live like other people in the society, don't want this life. Don't you, don't you get it? I don't want this. Let me tell you the sweet one, my daughter. The ART suppresses the virus. And guess what? It gives you the opportunity to live without any other illness because it will make it not to affect you. The third most important thing is that 
it helps you not to transfer it to any other person around you. So, I have lived with these fires for months. I'm not aware of it. I know. What if my child gets infected? Oh, daughter. Dozier was here. I asked him to leave. He can't see her daughter in her present condition. Who is there? I'm so sorry, sir. I'm really, really, really sorry. I know that heaven and hell are against me. Everybody's against me. I know that. I know that I don't deserve Nene. I don't deserve her. But please, compromise. Please, let me just see my wife. Please, that's all I ask. Please. No, darling. His presence here will only aggravate whatever our daughter is feeling right now. Yeah. No. Kino, oh, my dear, take it easy. Take it easy on him. This is the time for us to unite and pray for a miracle. The deed has been done, and we can't undo it. So we should forge ahead. Do you understand me? Yeah. Sorry for this cruelty. I, you don't deserve it. I'm so, so sorry. Your mother said you went to Calabar. Yes. For what? I needed to know why she did this to us. Who? Get out. Just... Was she the reason you never picked my cause while in Calabar? I'm sorry, babe, I'm sorry. And that was also the reason you started acting strange when you returned? Yes, babe, I didn't want this for us. I did not want this. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Tell her I'm sorry. Let's go. <laughs> Decided to call me today. Yeah, um, 
I need you to help me deliver a parcel to someone. Okay. I have a parcel for you. I need to be left alone. It's from me, Joma. dead by the time I got there. She overdosed. But she, she left specific instructions on how to reach you. She ruined my life! Come off it. When there's life, there's still hope. Stay strong. What do you mean stay strong? Are you joking? Huh? I'm dying of a deadly disease. My wife is dying of a deadly disease. Our child that's not even born yet is dying of a deadly disease. Are you saying stay strong? Are you joking? Huh? I don't know what to tell you. I just know that certain people come into your life to make you know what to avoid. If you come again into this world, do better. My daughter, please eat. You've all had a good meal for this. Fine. No, I know you. You are not okay. Are you okay? Oh my goodness. Oh my god! 
She doesn't want to see you. The child is still mine, regardless of how much I screwed things up, okay? Please don't deny me that. Doc, how's my wife? Yeah. Congratulations, Mr. Dozi. Mother and child are doing great. Thank you, Jesus! Yes. To God be all the glory! Oh, that great! Oh, thank you, Lord. Doctor! Is she infected? Is the girl infected? Well, we will determine that as soon as possible. Meanwhile, Mr. Dozzy, your wife needs some refreshment. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Get out! Calm down, my child. Calm down. Calm down. I made it clear I don't want to see him. He's still the father of your child. And I'm still the mother of my child. And I have every right to decide who sees my baby or who doesn't. I can't even begin to justify what I did. I deserve much, much worse for what I brought upon you and our child. Gradually, uh, we're nearing the end. Um, I was hate to have it be that life was snatched out of me. And I journeyed into the great beyond with words unspoken. I love you, Nene. I do. If I could rewrite our story, this version of us would not make it on any page. I'm sorry. Wait. So happy. I couldn't imagine a day would come when I would raise our baby without a father figure. I forgive you. Forgive you, not to see. I forgive you. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. Thank you so much. Our little baby will be named Innocence because of the circumstances that surrounded the death, you know? You're going to be a great father, you know?
She was diagnosed HIV AIDS free, but she never sucked on my breast to avoid the risk of mother to child transmission. She is our bundle of joy. The reason neither my husband nor I ever talked about death again. We know it could happen someday. It could be me first or him, but nobody cares. We are living the best of our lives. After all, everyone someday will die, infected or not.